welcome. <laughs> Paranormal Activity 4 was released in 2014 and was directed by Ariel Shulman and Henry Juice. And this one is basically about what every single one is about. There's gonna be supernatural hauntings and then someone's gonna get possessed. And this movie follows the exact same formula to a T. So for all of you guys wondering, is this gonna be a good movie? No, it is terrible. <laughs> I don't enjoy this movie. And I think that's the popular opinion that a lot of people don't. And there's a lot of reasons for it, but I do want to give the movie credit, at least for one thing. And <laughs> the one thing I respect is they tried to throw in a new element with this movie, which was having like the connect and having like the little dots. That I could appreciate them trying something new. In terms of it being in the movie, it is awful. I don't know why they did it, but I could respect that they were trying to do something new. And that's about really all the pros that I have with this movie. Besides Katie, Katie's fine. Um, oh, I don't know if that's a spoiler. I think they tell you or show you in the trailer, but if it's a spoiler, I'm sorry. But if it isn't, Katie's in the movie. She's there, she's... What does Katie do in it? Oh, she does do a lot, yeah. Yeah, she's kind of important in this one. You know, I feel like they told us before the movie, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good movie. <laughs> so in terms of cons, there's two really big cons that bog this movie down. And the first is that the characters are awful. Our main character of Alex, I did not like her at all. She was not a good protagonist. It felt like every stupid decision that she could possibly make she would make. Ben, uh, I think that's one of the characters. Ben, is that the boyfriend? Yeah, Ben is the boyfriend. Ben has the awareness of a, of a walnut, and unfortunately it's a spoiler why, but if you know, you know. If you don't, at the end of this review, Tina will play a clip of why he has the awareness of a walnut. So Tina, remember that. It's going to be at the end of the review. So after I do my... Thing. Yeah, terrible characters, uh, the parents sucked, Katie's fine, but like Katie doesn't, Katie's not Katie anymore, I, you understand if you've seen the first movie, Katie is Katie, and this takes place I think five years after the events of the second movie, yeah, this takes place five years after the events of the second movie, just, yeah, not a good movie, and the other con that I wrote was the ending, this is, I don't, mm, you know, I think this is the worst ending because there was, the sixth one ends pretty bad too, but I could respect that one a little bit more than this one. Yeah, this ending's probably the worst. It's really, really corny and that's the only way I could, yeah, explain it. It's very corny. Overall, I'm going to give this film a 3.5 out of 10. And if you've been watching the series, I guess you have to watch it. Um... I really don't think the other films try to connect it in any way, as in 5 and 6, but yeah, not a good movie. If, if you're not watching the series, then don't watch it. it. This is definitely not the one to watch out of all of them. So thank you everyone for watching this review, and be on the lookout for Paranormal Activity 5, the marked ones. So that'll be the next review on the channel. But let's flash forward to the next review.